I'm Blackberry and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm talking about the TV show Clarence and also I'm doing a sketch and discussing about the controversies, the criticism, and the things that I generally love about Clarence. So if you're willing to listen, sit back, grab some berries, and enjoy. One thing before I start, I wanted to say that I'm impressed by the opening of Clarence. Honestly, it's a bop. I want to mention the first episode of Clarence isn't the pilot episode. That's episode 24. When you first meet the main cast, you can already tell their personality. Clarence is a happy-go-lucky person who doesn't seem to understand the world, but doesn't let that bother him. Why I heard fans of the show head kidding Clarence with autism or some form of ADHD, I am not a doctor so I can say whether he has it or not. When it comes to the character Jeff, I remember hating him, thinking he's uptight and he's just really annoying. Now that I look back at him, I understand why he's that way. He's somewhat of a perfectionist, always clean and liking things done his way. When it comes to his interaction with Clarence, both of them bring out something in each other, some sort of balance. They are different in many ways, but Clarence is the one that brings out Jeff's fun side. At first, in the beginning episodes, Jeff shows his jealousy of Clarence. When it comes to the episode Clarence gets a girlfriend, I'm putting that in quotation marks of girlfriend, Jeff gets mad saying that he should have been the first one in the group to get a girlfriend. He's the nice guy, and nice guys really do finish last, like an incel. <laughs> well, firstly, I gotta find that funny, but good lord, Jeff, chillax. Next thing, he's gonna go to Reddit and be like, all women are the same, playing Juice World in the background. But far down the lines in the later episode, he grows less uptight and more open to things, even if they're gross. When it comes to his other friend, or should I say friend of me, Sumo, they bump heads a lot. Sumo even said that he would have killed Jeff if Clarence continued to left them alone, which I think is funny. I can't say they grow close, but on the topic of Sumo, I feel like his character has the most excellent development in the later seasons. I'm not going to spoil it, so I recommend you watch it yourself. One of the funniest things about his character is when he gets mad. The sketch of Sumo kind of gets all jumbled up and weird looking, and also he has beef with this random worker, <laughs> and he picks fights with him every time he sees him. Or even the fact you can't really understand him. I just think Clarence brings out Sumo's charm. As for the other characters, I don't have really much to say. One of the main critiques slash criticism I see for the show is that it's gross. I can agree, it has its nasty moments, but do you know why it has those moments? Because kids are gross. They're children, bro. Kids are nasty creatures. They're going to do gross things. The show brings out how they act, and criticizing for its art style is also not a good argument in my eyes because art is subjective. When you've watched the show, I think you should come in with an unbiased opinion and an open mind. From my personal opinion, and to everyone out there, I think you should give the show a try. Oh well, yeah, I didn't really explain why I'm posting this on a Wednesday. I'm deciding to post two videos a week because posting Saturday or videos on a Saturday only doesn't really help with growing my channel. The video on a Saturday is going to be like a rant video. So if you want to hear me rant about the dissatisfaction with my channel and what I'm trying to do to improve it, you can watch that video as well. I don't know if y'all really like these videos 
from what I've seen in the viewer count, count it's usually three or five um, viewers, and honestly, uh, it can go up because I Amanda the Adventurer video. Um, it went up. I think it's because I linked the video in the short that I made. I usually get most of my subscribers from my shorts, but hey, that's alright. Um, if y'all want to see something different or new with my channel or anything else, please tell me so I can somewhat approve on my channel. Um, and if it's about a camera, um, I don't get the money for it, so don't even ask. <laughs> with you about this drawing I didn't really have big hopes that it'll come out nice I think it came out honestly decent and the reason why sumo hair is in the middle sumo's hair is like that because before in the pilot episode he had blonde hair not that bright blonde it was like a dirty blonde but I don't have that type of market and I don't really know how to do it properly I think when it came to the background and stuff like that, it came out nice. It kind of looked like, I don't want to be mean to myself. It looked like a child drew it, but I'll take it. I think it's an okay drawing. It, It's fine. I don't usually draw boys, so it's not going to be my top 10, my best drawing and stuff like that. I don't really have a lot to say here, so you can just enjoy the music and continue to watch me draw. This is mostly it. Now, are y'all ready to see the final product? The way this came out was alright. I think it really popped and it's something different in my sketchbook than me drawing pretty girls like I do all the time. If you enjoyed the video, I hope you like, subscribe, comment down below to see what you want me to do in the future, and have a lovely day filled with dozens of berries.